Hey guys, how you doing? This is Greg from Fox Family Heating and Air Conditioning. Today we just wanted to share with everyone the process of installing one of those traditional whole house fans. Colin's going to take the lead on this call and show us how it's done. piece of two by four we'll put it right here mm -hmm. have it drilled you know drill it down onto the bottom one mm -hmm. and then drill wood into that so then it's stay one it's so we need them 34 two more 34 pieces um poop you up in here and there yeah and here. see all those little air gaps yeah there you go 34s two 34s yeah two 34 inch pieces um and we'll be here Eventually, there's a height where it can't get to because of this. Oh, yeah. Well, let's say this was lower. The angle of it was like, it was coming right here, my way down here. Then what I would do is I would just frame the fan up above this. I could sit the fan on it like Whoa. this. Whoa. And the rest of it would be just wood. You would frame it up above the uh, yeah, the angled like, truss? You could put like a piece of plywood or, you know, pieces of wood up to here. Yeah, right. And then build another fan box frame. And you could like literally put your fan up top here. Yeah. As long as it has an opening you know, yeah, to draw air. Right. And the further away it gets, actually, the quieter it is for the homeowner. So ah, seemed, got it. So if you put the fan up here, it would actually be even nicer for the homeowner instead of having it down here. So that's yeah. why, I, that's why I'd, I frame it up and then have this extra four inches. So we're about eight to 12 inches away from the shutter when the fan goes in. It makes that blade noise drop down. A lot a less. Bit. Yeah. Nice. So you don't get that propeller, that propeller noise that a lot of old school fans have that people are always worried about. Yeah. That's what everybody hates. That's what everybody's that. been going to the quiet cool instead for. Exactly. <laughs> and that's what quiet cool does. They sit their fans, you know, six to tw six to nine feet away from the shutter. Yep. So you barely hear it. Same concept here.
Ancient oak. <laughs> Ancient oak. Yeah. Yeah. Strong. Strong like my daddy made me. It's from Asgard or whatever. <laughs> Asgardian, from Asgardian wood. oak. The tree of all is called. Too bad you had to cut down the tree of wisdom to frame this in, but it looks nice. <laughs> <laughs> worth it yo <laughs> all right so um let's do power real quick okay. um do i have a paddle bit in my uh in my makita bag Check. right here colin's making the hole in the top plate of the wall the wall down here so that we can run our electrical down there. Say it again. I said we probably should have used like a three quarter. Bang. That's the only two screws holding on to that initial frame, huh? Yep. You got it. You could just take your high speed, low speed, neutral wires. And just hang them out and wire nut them out here. Yeah. But uh, in California, we're gonna we can't do that. That's not up to code. So, so we're gonna three eighths real mix connector. And then we'll run. And we'll yeah, put it right in there. Mix into here, and then we'll wire nut everything in and, and smash it down into that. Okay.
Beautify it back up, even though 99% of the time nobody's gonna come up here and look at it. <coughs> That's really all about the efficiency. It's already a big hole, so that looks all right. Here's our high-low switch, and we'll get a 12-hour timer going here. And then throw it back in, so. Then we're here gonna sit there. Very nice. Wow, oh, yeah. Yeah, even without the fan blade, just the motor, it was louder than that. That is a lot quieter. A lot quieter than people think they are. Which is why <clears throat> is it the non-belt driven ones that are so loud? Uh, yeah, the one where the motor sits right on top of this. You know? Yeah. Um, but also, it's getting the fan up and off the, get it up off the ceiling. Yeah. Like any of you can, you can just have it. That's pretty heavy. That moves a ton of air too. Yeah, you're literally just floating that plastic. Air. Very good, Mr. Colin.